So let's start the morning off with getting my skin analyzed. Getting my skin analyzed. Three, two, one. Not a bad picture, Betsy. Not a bad picture. Whoa. Not too bad. Not too bad. Damn. Okay, the dark circles are still there. It's kind of declined. Spots, pores, oh. holy guacamole. Shall I watch some YouTube? Oh, look who it is. It's me. All right, daily tip of the day. See today's news. Yep, yep, not interested. All right, time to get the face beat. Oh, that's some light. The outdoor sunny days. Supermarket, what? Supermarket has good lighting? <sighs> so that's is the high mirror mini. Children! <laughs> Living with children, right? Okay, so anyways, moving on. The folks over at high mirror gifted me the high mirror mini and gave me the exclusive first look and you'll also be able to see it if you go to Beautycon in LA. The high mirror mini is different from the high mirror that's that's been out. It has a sleeker design. Definitely smaller, has a built-in stand, is touchscreen, comes with pre-installed apps such as Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, and something called Skin Scale. The whole purpose of the High Mirror Mini is to take photos of your face without makeup and it's going to analyze your skin and tell you the percentage of wrinkles that you have, dark circles, pores, red spots. And so based off of the percentages that it gives you, it's also gonna give you recommendations on the home screen how to efficiently target the problem areas, not individually, but it'll give you a, an overall tip. So when the camera is not in use, it comes with a camera lens cover to shut the camera just in case anything happens. My favorite part is that I had Amazon Alexa, so I get to talk to Alexa, isn't that fun? Alexa, should I wear makeup today? Sorry, I'm not sure. So that is my mini review. Ha ha ha. Good one. It tells me a lot about my dark circles, so that's what I suffer from a lot. So I've been drinking a lot more water, and I can tell the difference when I've drank a lot of water that day to opposed to a day that I haven't drank a lot of water. It tells me how my percentage has changed, so that comes in handy. But if you guys are interested, I will leave it linked in the description box below and you'll definitely probably see me using it a lot more in the vlogs because I was keeping it a secret until today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And now, let's get started with the day. <laughs> hey, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and definitely make sure the bell is on and it will notify you when a new video goes up. All right, that's a wrap guys. Thank you! Yeah. Woo! Buenos dias, mis amigos. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Good mama. Mommy, I have a question. Tu sabes quién es 
Tina Charles. No. You don't know? You grew up with Tina Charles in the 70s. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Tina Charles, girl. No, Tina Turner. I said Tina Charles. That's Tina Charles. A, nine, a 70s artist, and I only know who, this, like who she is and what this song is because of this Netflix show called, I forgot the name right now. But throughout the whole season, they were playing this song. I was like, let me look up this lady, Tina Charles, and oh my gosh, I love her. And in this scene on the show, it is so magical. So he loses his mind. His, his partner dies, and then he sees her as a ghost, and he's trying to solve her murder because she was shot in the head. Um, but it's just so good. It's really, really good. It is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got shot in the head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here are your mics. Pick a mic. OMG? Okay. Oh, I want to be, I want to be. Oh, you're playing Caleb? Yeah. Oh. Buddha's always playing kids' bop at home. She hears music and she she gets the mic and she starts dancing and performing. No, I don't get mic, I just dance. Don't say the word. So now she's gonna play with her and her cousin. They're gonna pretend they're in kids' bop. It's gonna be the cutest thing ever, guys. Oh, oh, sorry, pause. My alarm, my alarm. Don't be his friend. You know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning. Gunner! You ain't getting over. I got no rules, I got no rules, I got Now, now they want to dance and get crazy. Don't Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. How cute. Yes, I stopped the car just to see all this. Oh, they're so cute. Sunshine and rainbows. Death. Die. Die. What was that? <laughs> it's so, it's rainbows and sunshine over there on the other side. Wait, hey, hey, where is the rainbow? You can't have rainbows in a clear blue sky. It's virtually impossible. It's not impossible. 99% impossible on this. You have a rainbow here because this is where the high pressures and the low pressures meet, where the precipitation meets the sunshine and creates the, oh. the vibrancies. The oh my God, spectrum. I know it was back in 11th grade science class. You learned that in 11th grade? <laughs> I learned that when I was in elementary school. Shut up. You know what I meant, okay? No, I don't know what you mean. Why do you, I hate when he does that. He parks right next to a car, and then they look right in here to see what the heck we're doing. Oh wait, and then he moves up. Oh. I can't talk to the car right next to me. See, man? Such a jerk. <laughs> Theater. All majestic. So we are invited from by Universal to go see upstairs? Okay. Oh, to see the film Skyscraper, which is with the one and only The Rock. Here, you're a funny guy, Bob. Oh hello. How are you? How are you? What's your so boy took got me my popcorn con butter and salt. And since we're reward members, what theater is this? AMC stops. 
You guys should sign up for free. This came, it was either this or nachos. So Boy Chase saw me to eat that with the nachos. No, with the popcorn. I mean, yeah, with the popcorn. Oh, it's phenomenal. He didn't steer me wrong the last time with the peanut butter and MMs. Never wrong. From where? Popcorn. Your little marinade with the salt and the butter together. Yeah. I'm telling you, let it marinate with the salt and the butter. It's all right. Oh. Okay. Marinade. It's freaking popcorn. What do you think no, of the steak? It tastes so good when the butter and the salt mix in with it. Don't do it all, though. Don't look down. That was dumb. You guys, Skyscraper was amazing. The trailer does no justice. I've seen the, why are you so dark up there? I've seen the trailer, and I'm like, oh, it looks okay. And I was just telling one of my blogger friends, Jen, I'm like, the trailer looks okay. I mean, I only want to watch it because The Rock is in it. And I'm discussing with him, The Rock so far has not picked one movie that has done terrible. So I'm like, I have, him and his team have not picked one script, one movie that's been bad, right? Every movie that The Rock has been in so far has been amazing. I've never seen Rock, The Rock in, in an actual like serious movie though. I know he's been in a few, but I've never seen any. This, like Fast and Furious, that's kind of serious. Oh yeah, It's just right, very yeah. suspenseful. So suspenseful. I was like this like the whole time jumping up. Every step of the movie is so suspenseful. It is so, I, I wish I would have bought Deanna. Deanna would have loved this. She probably would have been crying, but she would have loved it. It, just, it was a good movie. I like the fact that you're on your, the edge of your seat the entire time. Oh, yeah. And it's definitely, if you're claustrophobic, you're going to feel it. Oh. <laughs> and it's not because of the confined spaces. You'll have to watch it to see why. So good. You guys, the trailer does it no justice. I'm going to actually, Zero. a blog post. I believe I'm going to write a blog post because there's just so much, like when I really, 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 really <laughs> love a movie and there's just so much to say about it, I want to write a blog post about it. So look out for it next week on that'swhatstv.com. But yeah, one out of ten, as Zianna would say, a hundred million, thousand trillion percent. <laughs> Dinner time. And what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Gyudon. Gyudon. Some like steak and stuff. And what did you get? Uh, miso ramen. What? Miso ramen. <laughs> Yo, I think boy toys growing up. You better not. Don't do it. Oh, don't, 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 don't. I don't want to hear it. Stop. Stop, I'm going to throw up. Boy Toy ate pork. Oh my gosh. And so, I guess pork makes him throw up. I don't know, but. Minnie Sammy goes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this long. If we have entertained you throughout the vlog, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Te quiero tanto, te adoro mis amigos, and we shall see you in a day or two, or three. Buenas noches! Thank you so much for watching mis amigos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely comment below, it will help us on YouTube. And until next time, adios!